Welcome back. Well, let's continue with this evening's match, and what a vital one, too, between the world number one at the moment, Ray Reardon, pitting all his experience against the young Londoner, Tony Mio. We can join the match in the first frame with the Welshman leading 41 to 34 at the table and with a free ball. Experts at the commentary box this time are Mark Wildman and Ray Edmonds. So Ray can elect to take a colour, which in this case is the green. It counts as one. One. And now he's on a colour. Now twenty one points in the lead. Fourteen needs both these reds to make the frame safe in his favour. Fifteen. is going to have to dislodge that red near the pink to get it into play. <laughs> uh, having missed it, as you saw, well now he may be in trouble. Just a yeah. little edge sticking out. 22. Twenty-two, Ray Raiden. Emil thirty-four, Ray Raiden sixty-three. So twenty-nine points the difference. And this pot red not too easy with that white ball tucked up against that cushion. One. Any colour and all the colours. That's all Tony Mio needs. Three. And under normal circumstances, Tony would surely knock all these in, but. Very vital for him to win this, and every ball a pressure one. Eight. Now only 21 points behind, just 22 on the table. 12. Twenty-three. So after a very cut and mouse frame, Tony Mayo comes to score, he clears the board, he goes into a one frame to nil lead. So this young man from London, Tony Mayo, breaks off in the second frame of this best of three frame match, having just kept his nerve and Thoroughly deserved to win that first frame just by one single point. And Ray, well, you played exceptionally well in this first match this afternoon. <laughs> and that's a nice one. clean pot for a start at this second frame.
sixth. Seven. Fourteen. Fourteen, Ray Red. Well, I'm ready. I'm sure that Ray can't believe that he missed that pot red. I'm sure they didn't expect to get back to the table so quickly. One. And he'll not be too happy with that one either. One dry red. Oh. That's a very friendly game at the moment. <laughs> this is the third successive chance that Ray Reardon's had. One. Six. Seven. <laughs> and again, Seven, Ray Reardon Ray misses a very, very simple shot. Quite inexplicable. First. One. Absolutely vital for Tony Mayo to win this match to give himself a chance of going through to the four semi final stages. So every shot, a pressure shot for him. Five. And that's a bit unfortunate. There you see it, the white tucked right up against those reds, so. Long bridge over the top of two reds. And Five. 
made Tony the pot. Leo. That much more difficult. So Ray Reardon having had certainly the best chances this frame. Still only 17 points in front. Foul four, Tony Mayo. Well, all three of the senior colours, blue, pink and black, effectively out of position at the wrong end of the table. Tony Mayo just looking at a plant. Into the left-hand corner pocket, one red onto another. And it would be a good way to get back to bulk as well. And I'm sure Ray can't believe what's happening. He played so well in his first match today. It seems completely out of sorts at the moment. One. Could be the shot that really opens it up for Tony Mayo. Getting that black back Eight. on the spot will make it a little, a little easier to score points. Now there's a ball at this end of the table. Nine. This looks like a yellow into the bulk left-hand pocket with a lot of screw on the white ball to bring it back to one of those two reds that are in the middle of the table. Eleven. Twelve. That takes Tony Le Mio into a six point lead. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Just has the right angle on this black to get onto those reds. Tony Mayo can manage to beat 
Ray Reardon too, nil. It really opens up this section and gives him a real chance of getting through to the next stages. And would put a lot of pressure on Ray Reardon for his next match. 36. Just checking the scoreboard. He's 23 points in front. So this black and that remaining red would uh, leave Ray Reardon wanting snookers. Not an easy safety shot, this one. Wants to be judged absolutely perfectly. And he's played it exceptionally well. 43, Tony Mayo. So there's the difference, 30 points in Tony Mayo's favor. Just 35 points on the table. That could be the mistake that the one that Tony didn't Ray want Reardon to make. 22, Tony Mayo 52. So how often have we seen Ray Reardon having looked to be in all kinds of trouble? Come on and clean up. Can he do it this time? One must take a colour to be able to win. Difference, 29 points. So absolutely vital to get a colour here. Anything above the yellow will do. One Ray Ray. And Ray will not be very happy with that one because he had a great chance there. So Tony Mayo's now in the position where Ray Ridden wants one snooker. there well he knows that he's got it all to do with the last match now nine this frame way beyond Ray Reardon's reach look where the white's gone anyway nine Tony Neal Short, 
Ray's laughing, but uh, I'm sure, as I say, he knows he's no chance of winning this round. Wants at least four snookers. Five. Eleven. Yes, that victory for Tony Mio leaves us with all kinds of intriguing possibilities for the last match, which is between Ray Reardon and Cliff Wilson. Um, and what an end to St. David's Day for two Welshmen, who, by the way, hail from the same town in the valleys. As you can see, Wilson, with no hope of qualifying, really holds the key to who will go through. Now, if Reardon wins two frames to nothing, he will win the group, and David Taylor will join him in the semis because he has already beaten Mio in their match. If Reardon wins 2-1, then there will be a three-way shootout because Reardon, Taylor and Mio will each have three points. If Reardon loses, then Taylor and Mio will qualify. So that's the simple explanation of a quite complex situation. So without any more ado, let's join this crucial last match at the top. Ray Reardon against Cliff Wilson. The pressure very much on Ray. Describing it for you, Dennis Taylor and John Pullman. Bray Reardon breaks off then in the initial frame of this three-frame final match of Group 2 of the Yamaha International Snooker Tournament. Needing to win this match to go through to the semi-finals. An interesting situation, actually, playing from Wales, another Welshman, Cliff Wilson, who has no chance of going through, but Ray Reardon, should he win this match 2-0, will be the group winner and go through with David Taylor. An interesting situation could arise if Ray Reardon wins this match two frames to one, would then be a playoff with three people contesting the situation where the colors will be put on their spots. One. And they will play it rather like taking penalties at soccer. So a very important frame, this very important match. Ray Reardon, one. And Ray Reardon certainly not happy with that one. One. Five. Cliff Wilson, five. Well, Cliff Wilson into an early four-point lead, but he certainly split the balls up. And a great opportunity for Ray. There's only one ball safe in the table, and that's the black. Well, Ray Reardon under a lot of pressure in this match. One. Six. 
six. Seven. An interesting positional shot from Ray. He wants to get that yellow back on its own spot again. Nine. Ten. And one would think, Dennis, that only really has to bind his work here to make a reasonable break. The ball's absent. Oh, and having said that, Ten. Rare the simplest of pinks has gone astray. Oh, once again, <coughs> the frame wide open. One. Six. Well, there's Seven. one young man in the auditorium will be hoping that Cliff Wilson has a good match, and that's Tony Mayo, because if Cliff Wilson should win this match, Tony Mayo would go through with David Taylor. Thirteen. Fourteen. Foul stroke. 14, Cliff Wilson, 6, Ray Reardon. Well, referee Lane Gangley declaring a foul shot there, so Cliff obviously hit the red just before the pink. It's pretty close, but referee Lane Gangley, a very competent referee indeed. And there's a nice shot of a referee. One. Six. Uh, Ray Reardon recaptures the lead, four points in front now. And still nicely in the driving seat. Seven. Interesting point to make at this moment that there hasn't been a black potted for the simple reason that's been hemmed in on the top cushion there. And there you see it. Twelve. Thirteen. <coughs> Nicely onto the pink, but I think at the angle that he can only think in terms of the red that's on the bulk cushion. Well, I was wrong. It was a little straighter than I thought. I was able to get back. To the 19. top of the table, but still well in position. Twenty. Twenty six. Twenty-seven. Well, Ray is now twenty-five points in front. The blue will put him thirty points in front. And he's got one more red on the bottom cushion. Thirty-two. The problem's going to be the red that's next to the black. Well, 
Andrea Reardon, 32. <laughs> so, Ray Reardon, 30 points in front, as I said. But Cliff Wilson still in with a chance to pinch this first frame. One. Cliff Wilson, one. Ray Reardon, 49. Cliff Wilson, 20. One. Ray Reardon, one. Cliff Wilson now requiring one snooker. 30 points the difference, just 27 on the table. Foul stroke, four, Ray Reardon. Cliff Wilson, two. Well, that looks pretty close. Stroke four. Well, Reardon. Four points to Ray Reardon. So Cliff Wilson hasn't got much chance now of winning this frame. Thirty six points in front. Seven. <laughs> Ray Reardon, seven. And there you see it, 33 points in the game. And no way in the world that Cliff Wilson Graham could conceded. win this, and he's decided that also, and has capitulated. <laughs> well, a very satisfactory start from Ray Reardon's point of view. He goes into a one frame to nil lead. Yes, Ray Reardon clearing the first hurdle, and now just one frame away from certain qualification for the semi-finals. Cliff Wilson stand then to break off frame number two, trailing by one frame to nil. Just the best of three frames. And Ray Redden comes to the table with one already under his belt, needing just this frame for victory. And a pretty good way to start any frame. One.
Touching ball. Ball from Ray. The white is touching the yellow. He can get through to the brown, but mustn't move that yellow. In fact, having to come One. off the cushion and Rarier. hit the green, so opportunity gone. And he had to nominate the green, otherwise he'd have deemed to have hit the yellow. One. Cliff Wilson, one. Possible to sneak this black into the top pocket. Very thin one. But can't come to any harm should he miss it. In fact, played a very positive shot there, and I think he's nicely on another round. Eight. Nine. Well, Ray Reardon had a loose red there, but he's going for the money. Sixteen. Split the reds up. In this game of snooker, if you get one opportunity, you've got to take it. You may not get another. Twenty four. Uh, choice of reds here, one into the middle, it's the one he's decided on. 25. And that black takes him into a 32 point lead in the second frame, 32. leading by one frame to nil. That thing's looking quite rosy for Ray Redden. 33. Should Ray Reardon win this frame, win the match 2-0, he will be the group winner and go through with David Taylor into the semi-final stages of this tournament. <clears throat> Ray Reardon, 38. <clears throat> was a little fortunate there, covered the red he missed with the black. <coughs> and it looks as if it's Cliff Wilson's turn to be a little bit fortunate. Rather a difficult red he took on there and has come out reasonably well. That red might just go past the brown and yellow. It looks pretty tight.
we go with one of these shots to nothing again. Tempting the red, bringing the cue ball back down the table. He's missed the red. Now, has he left it? That was the only ball on the table he could leave, and he's certainly given Cliff Wilson a chance. One. Well, he looks pretty worried, but a lot of snooker left in this match yet. In fact, One. he's back at the Cliff table Wilson. and can't quite believe it. So, 37 in front and a terrific opportunity now. One. <coughs> Well, would you believe it? Look where that cue ball's finished. Six. Possible one into the left corner, but Ray doesn't quite like the look of that. Six. Ray Reardon. Cliff Wilson, two, Ray Reardon, 45. Certainly a great pot from Ray Red and hasn't paid any great dividends. Not easily on a colour. Quite content to just play Ray the Reardon. containing shot, One. the safety shot. Has put the green onto the side cushion. He's thinking ten minutes in front. He's got a good lead. He's 44 points in front, but there may be an occasion later on in the game where Cliff Wilson needs the lot to win. And that would be difficult with the green on the side cushion. Seven. And I would think Ray Redden into a frame winning and match winning situation here. Yeah? Eight. Fifty two points in front. Just one more red. Thirteen. Will make Cliff Wilson require snookers. Fourteen. Ray Reardon, 20. 64 in front, just 43 on the table. And the young gentleman watching this match, David Taylor, will be very pleased. He'll be going into the semi-final along with Ray Reardon. And the reason for that, he's got the same 
points as Tony Mayo. One. But David Taylor, in fact, beat Tony Mayo two nothing, and that will be the reason he'll be joining Ray Reardon in the semi-final. Seven. Seven, Ray Reardon. fantastic long double there from Cliff Wilson but before he started this break he was 70 points adrift so obviously no chance whatsoever of winning this frame and perhaps he's going to go out in a blaze of glory Cliff Wilson eight in fact he's conceded so Ray Reardon wins the match two frames he finishes up the group winner and goes through to the semi-finals with David Taylor. Yes, let me just confirm the situation after that convincing reared in victory. Ray wins the group, and although David Taylor and Tony Mio each have three points, David qualifies because he beat Mio in their game. Reardon and